One of the things that's quite characteristic about people, especially if they're introverted and they don't have very many friends, they don't have people to talk to, if they're suffering, maybe they're depressed or anxious or they have some sets of strange symptoms like agoraphobia or obsessive compulsive disorder, one of the things they always presume that is that the fact that they're suffering in that manner means that there's something, not only something wrong with them, but something uniquely wrong with them, so that it's their fault and no one else is like them. And one of the things you do as a diagnostician, you know, you'll hear a lot of rattling about how labeling is bad for people, and certainly mislabeling is bad for people, and even an accurate label can be a box that you can't get out of, but it's very, very frequently the case that if you diagnose someone, it's a relief to them like you can't believe because they come in to see you knowing that something isn't going properly but they think, well, they're the only person facing it and that means they're idiosyncratically strange in some incomprehensible way that no one else could possibly understand and there's no way they could ever get better and one of the things you do is point out to them is like, yeah depression and anxiety doesn't really require any explanation Right? There's plenty of reason, I don't remember who said it, everyone has sufficient justification for suicide. I think that was the claim. Well, but the, the, the point is, is that if you look through the experiences of the typical person, unless they're very, very fortunate, and, and they won't be that way forever, that's certainly the case, that they can point to traumatic experiences in their life, death and loss and illness and, and humiliation and all those sorts of things, that are sufficient to account for existence in a state of quasi-permanent negative emotion. Now, often if you see, as I said, if you see people who are depressed and anxious by nature, they assume that everyone else is the smiling face that you see on Facebook, and so that that alienates them from other people and themselves even more than, 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 than certainly far more than necessary. And part of the psychoeducation that goes along with therapy is merely educating people to understand that a fair bit of misery is the norm and that there's plenty of genuine reason for it.